The very fact that these low like the Arabs would dig our ancestors up out of their graves and desecrate their graves and put them out there to be mocked in, in public viewing is the undebatable fact that lets us know that these are not their ancestors. They would never do Mohammed, Ibn Abdullah, in such a, a, a disrespectful, dehumanizing manner to put their bodies out for public viewing. This lets you know that these mummies, these ancestors, these black ancestors of ancient Egypt and Nubia are not theirs. These Arabs need to put our ancestors back down in the ground. You look at the uh, Egyptian statue, why are the noses missing? Because they know that they don't look like the Arab Pecklewood who claim that Egypt belongs to them because if it truly belonged to them, and if these statues look like they look, they would have adored those statues. They would have venerated those statues. They would have displayed those statues to the world. Because this is what the white man does. He, he, he always puts forth his image as the image of God. And if these statues in any way, shape, or form display the same characteristics of a low life cracker then he would have adored it. But no, he puts our ancestors on display. Look at the little lowly pepperwood beast right here taking pictures of our ancestors. This is a desecrated body. That ancestor supposed to be in the damn ground. Now hell you gonna let a little low life Arab who's just desecrating Egypt from top to bottom. We can't be nasty. We can't be the conscious individual that we are because this right here would be an act of war. This is an act of war to have our ancestors out for public viewing with no peace for their, uh, their afterlife. They, they can't even rest in peace because they have been desecrated and pulling up out of their grave. Everywhere you look, you see that the Egyptian statues have been hacked on have been attacked, have, have been desecrated because it looks like the African who the cracker says he is so superior of. He can't claim that he's superior to us and we can always go back to these artifacts and show that this is us. This is the African race who put this great mighty civilization in the Nile Valley. So he attacks it. If it looked like him, he would have adored. If it looked like him, he would have venerated it. He would, he would have portrayed it to the world. But because it didn't look like him, he attacked it. He desecrated it. And me and you and the entire African race, we look like nothing but uh, 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 belittled, no type of dignity, no type of humanity to allow these low life the Arabs and crackers to desecrate our ancestors. What, do, what would our ancestors think of us? Even when we go to Egypt and go to Sudan and we go in here and we look upon our ancestors, even the baby mummies, there's, there, there's no limit to his treachery. There's no limit to his desecration. How, how, how are we going to be respected in the world? when we allow our ancestors to be degraded like this. This is our image. They're just like the attackers on channel six, seven and two every night. From the noon, 12 o'clock news, to the six o'clock news, to the 11 o'clock news. They desecrate our image. This is what they're doing and this is what they did in the ancient world. Just attack the African image and destroy that image because he hates it. He hates you, African man and African woman, black man and black woman. He hates you. This, this uh, uh, statue is over 30 feet tall. These low life did Arabs and crackers climb all the way to, to the top to knock his nose out. You understand what I'm saying? That shows you that it was deliberate. Having our ancestors on display for money, for financial gain, it is deliberate to bring us down as a people. Look at the, the pyramid field of Giza. 
this is a cemetery. And these cracker Arabs is in Egypt throwing light show at the Giza Plateau. Light show. And we understand that this is a cemetery. He's out there portraying the two fake uh, uh, statues on a, a screen to give you the impression that this is an Arab, a uh, Caucasian uh, 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 civilization. What are you going to do about it? You can't be calling yourself conscious. African Senate, nationalists, uh, or even black Muslim, whatever you're calling yourself, when you're calling yourself conscious, how can you be conscious when the crackers and Arabs is in the center of our very being, the heart and womb of which we came up out of desecrating the way that they do? If we was to go and put Mohammed out on display, that would be an act of total war for the Arab Islamic population all over the world. They would take you to war, to war, to war. But you sit in white thesis. You sit and make videos and write uh, uh, paragraphs in magazines saying how they desecrate. If you don't like what is going on, then bring war to these Arabs. Bring war to these peck of wood for what they're doing to our ancestors putting them out here and desecrating them and making us look like we're nothing but a, a, a low life that savages to allow somebody to do this to our people, to knock our images up off of the statues. How are we going to be respected in this world if we don't stop this desecration of Egypt, this desecration of Africa, this desecration of our people all over the world? Hit a damn light, uh, uh, the laser beams coming out uh, the uh, structures in the back with the crackers out here watching this old fake ass uh, uh, so-called light show. And then they shoot a fake image of an air face on the horn act. They shoot this fake image of an air face on the horn act. Here it is. They, they're taking it over. They, they're erasing you from history. And you're going to have to do something about it. There's no if, ands, or buts about what I'm telling you. You are not going to be respected in this world or any world that is soon to come if you cannot stand up for your ancestors. And they're being desecrated every day, every day relentlessly by the low-life air and the low-life cracker. And I say, they're nothing but beasts. That's all they are is beasts to dig our ancestors up out of the ground and not give them a proper burial. This lets you know that those are not their ancestors because they will never desecrate their ancestors the way that they are desecrating our ancestors. Shame on you, African man. Shame on you, African woman, for not doing something about this. This will continue until you stand up and do something about it. These are your ancestors. These are your foremothers and forefathers. If you won't stand up for them, who will? who will? Who will stand up for Africa? Who will free Africa from this persecution? This spiritual, physical, and mental persecution. This is Sawa Sutan said, giving a message out to the Arab and European world. Put our damn ancestors back down in the ground, you low life beast. You'll put our ancestors out on display like that. Give them a proper burial and put them back down in the ground where our ancestors originally were. They were not out for the public to view. You don't put low life to George Washington or Napoleon or Julius Caesar and all these other beasts out for display. So why then do you des desecrate Africa the way that you do? Your time is coming. Oh, praise the nether root. Your time is coming and I can't wait. I hope that my eyes can see this. I hope that I live that my eyes can see this. Because it will be the most blessed day that I could ever hope for in my lifetime. But my message is to the African man and to the African woman all over the planet Earth. What is happening here on this screen is just a small portion of what's happening in many, many aspects of our total living. They're desecrating our total living and they will continue to do it until we as a people unify all over the planet Earth 
and make these low life beasts stop by any means necessary. And if it causes us to go to total war with these petal wars, then I'd rather go to total war than be crawling on my knees like a beast, like a, a man that has no uh, identity, no self respect, and no self determination. This is your brother, Shaw Wazuka, said he's saying, arm yourself with not, bang on that wicked beast daily. Liberation through education. Peace. I, I, I think it's something in the water, man. It's got me in the water. Oh, fuck. Chuck's on a killing spree again. We guillotine for men. I walk around town with a frown on my face. Fuck the whole world. Finna catch a murder case. For the murder rate. Right. Make it crease if you caught up in the world while it's dying. I guarantee you fry. Cause I. 